Hi, this is Charlie Barrett, and I bet you can't play this. <laughs> My turn. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Luis and today I have my friend Charlie Para for a quick talk here for my YouTube channel because uh, we're both from South America and man, we met at Last Name, right? Mm -hmm. And then we stayed in touch. You played a song. I played a song on your album with Eduardo as well. Mm -hmm. And you played a song. Uh, you you did a solo for Breathless, right? Yes. So uh, and not only as a player, but Charlie's like an inspiring <laughs> person, which is you, you have an amazing vibe. And, and man, uh, he's staying at my house for a few days, so we really have the chance to talk and you know exchange a few experiences. So. It's really cool to, to, to have this chance man, to hang out with you. Trust me, uh, to me it's an honor to you know, be here in May to have the chance to perform with you <laughs> and Eduardo. Well. Yeah, we played really together awesome. the Whiskey A Go Go. Uh, I hope it for Gus G and he played the song. The song we did for his album, Redemption. Yes, <laughs> it, it was the most adrenalinic moment of the year so far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was intense. Nice, 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 nice. That's really cool. So man, first thing. Uh, tell me a little bit about being from Peru. Mm -hmm. Since you started playing guitar till the moment you became the first uh, South American player to ever have a, a Gibson signature guitar. How was that, man? How, how? Tell like briefly your story. In well, the, the truth is that at first I I was supposed to be a marine. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the truth. I was uh, supposed to be a marine, uh, but. Uh, you know how it is, man. Your your passions, your yes. you know, they the mission, man. Yes, it's the mission. <laughs> it's what your heart wants, what yeah, your yeah. heart and mind wants. And yeah. So yes, I became a musician. I played uh, guitar since I'm I was 15 when I started playing guitar. Man, I, actually, I was really old because when you were 15, you already <laughs> played, you, dude, amazing, right? <laughs> and when I was 15, before that, I was playing PlayStation and stuff. Uh -huh. PlayStation One. Oh, I played that a lot, man. The so, show. <laughs> So, um, Spider-Man, yeah, <laughs> Jack Shaw. But, um, <laughs> the thing is that I started playing guitar, I focused a lot on it, uh, I, uh, the struggle was real. Yes, in, yes. in Peru, the struggle was real, I played in bars a lot, cover bands, yes, yes. like hits from the 80s, yes. I had a repertoire uh -huh. of like 300 songs. Man. And I slept, uh, every show was from Wednesday till Saturday, uh -huh. from 11 p.m. till 4 a.m. Yes, yes. So it was intense. It was those were kind of hard days. Uh -huh. and but that's the start, right? Yes, you that's the start. Begin yeah. Somewhere. Yes, there, there was a start, and well, then I uh, had. Uh, I can say that my bands are doing great in, yes. in Peru. That's the thing. They do great in Peru, uh -huh. but I not know. outside of it. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the main thing. Yeah. But that, you, your success is worldwide with your channel, right? You I have almost a million subscribers. In I think that the difference is because my bands are performing, you know, songs. Uh -huh. I, I write the songs for them. Yeah. Right? So there are songs in Spanish, uh -huh. right? So the market it's very, very, you know, uh -huh. it's very limited. Uh -huh. But my instrumental stuff, mm -hmm. the originals, the covers, and everything, yes. they don't have any language. It's just music. So yes. everybody gets exactly. it. It's yeah. like C. A C chord is a C chord everywhere. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Yeah. So man, that, that, that's really cool, dude. And uh, we, you mentioned something that I wanted to talk about, mm -hmm. like, because uh, now we're in LA. You, you're probably going back tomorrow to to Peru, right? Yes. Uh, but I want I want to ask you, man, what do you think is the biggest difference growing up in South America? Mm -hmm. And I always say that in my uh, clinics and stuff, mm -hmm. like, because it's different if you're from Europe and you're from the U.S. I guess mm -hmm. you're you grow up with more opportunities and more. Uh, options, you know, of instruments, having access to more material, and in South yes. America, uh, we start playing because we love the thing itself, not what comes with it, not the hanging out, mm -hmm. not the sign. There's a phrase that a good friend of mine, Ada here, he, he always says that a producer. Mm -hmm. He says, if you like better uh, signing the autograph mm -hmm. uh, than playing guitar, you don't deserve any success. Really. That's and a good that, phrase, man. That, that's amazing. Yeah. So tell me about like uh, how, how it is to, to be from South America. What do you think is the biggest difference uh, in the way you are, the character, everything? 
I think that I've learned a lot. Uh, for example, uh, I'm gonna tell you a personal thing yeah, that yeah. I think I haven't told you before. Uh -huh. But before meeting you, before uh -huh. that man, that uh -huh. was in 2019, uh -huh. I felt like the, my career and my playing and everything was pretty stuck. Uh -huh. I was pretty stuck. I felt like super like, it, I'm, I'm not going anywhere, yes. right? So I got to be in touch with you and Lucas Mosferdin. Most and, of them, amazing. Yeah, yes, and, yeah. and actually seeing you guys play uh -huh. your performances and your videos right. and everything right. was truly inspiring to me, oh, man. And, and that's uh, that's true. It was uh -huh. like, dude, I gotta practice more. I gotta, I gotta, you know, do, you know, move on. Yeah, right? yeah. I move on with my career and yes. this stuff. And and to me, after that inspiring moment that I uh -huh. had with you guys, my 2019 was probably one of the best years of my life. Yeah. Like. Like in music, in personal uh -huh. life, everything, you know, because it's, that's the, I think that's the mission, being inspiring, not being Smart. a dick. Right? Yes, yes, yes. I've, I've met so many rock stars, you know, that uh -huh. who, who are really cool people, like big heart, and yes. they're really, you know, down to earth. That's the phrase, right? Yes. right? Down, down to earth, earth. Yeah. down to earth. And oh, I've met so many people that are absolutely yeah. nobodies that, you know, super dicks. Super right, right. Yeah. Dude, uh, you said everything earlier when we were in the car. Mm -hmm. uh, you told me that you met Slash. And yes. he uh, came to you and said, hey, Charlie, I'm Slash. Yes, that was <laughs> and, uh, shocking. If Slash is nice, a nice guy, who has the right to be a dick? Of course, I mean, he's, he's <laughs> playing guitar like in one of the most legendary bands and albums of all time. Yes. You know, he's an, a guitar icon, yes. right? Yes. Probably one of the last guitar icons, like right. the real guitar right. icons. Right. And the guy is super nice, yeah. right? He's like super nice. So every time I get to meet other people, yes. other players or whatever, that think they're, you know, they're the shit, yes. uh, the yes. great players or whatever, yes. it's it's pathetic. Yes. I, and yes. I, just, I just think like, I don't think like, oh, fuck this guy. I, I'm like, poor dude, man. Because yes. He's yes. gonna, He's gonna, you know, he's right now closing doors for right, him, right, right? right. And, and you not taking it personal uh, also doesn't let you get it inside you, you know what I mean? Because rage and bad feelings, yeah. it's something that eats you from inside, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. So. Definitely I had a period where I was pretty much not, not, not that nice, yeah, yeah. right? But I think that you gotta learn, I mean, the, the thing is that if you don't know failure, yes. you're not gonna know success. Yes, if you yes. don't know pain, you're not gonna know relief. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And, those are the experiences that make you yeah. grow and yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I'm, I'm from a, I don't know, I, I think I told you I'm from a small town in, in mm -hmm. uh, Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil, which is the last state going south, almost like in Uruguay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my city is in the frontier between Brazil and Uruguay, so mm -hmm. the city is called Bajé. And uh, I'm, man, I always, every time I go there, I was mm -hmm. like, my main treasure in life is was being born in the city because. Uh, I have people in my life, my family, my brothers, and friends that I know that they are hanging out with me because they love me, and you can see in their eyes yes. they don't want something from me. From me, you know what I mean. And uh, when you move to big cities, and uh, the more, uh, how can I say, the more modern and fast things are, I, the less I can feel people alive, man, because yeah. uh, I, I feel like uh, the frustration of the, you know. Life is fast, and you gotta be, became a, you become a slave of the money, yes, and you cannot true. feel fi things anymore. That's why I say like being like a, it's been three years that I've been living mm -hmm. in LA, and I for me I always think that six months is like the maximum yeah. you're here with the, like mental health. You know what I mean? I know it's like what I told last time is that I felt like it was kind of pretentious. Yes, you know, yes, like yes, everybody yes. pretends like it's cool and they're fine yeah. and everything is awesome and. Yeah. And it's kind of, you know, you can tell, you know, you can yes, tell, yes. you know, honest people from, from right, people like right. instantly. There's one story that uh, I don't, I'm, I mean, uh, I do my vlogs and stuff, but I'm not like a fraction of how good you are. Because oh, no. <laughs> uh, Charlie doesn't only have like a talent for music. I think you also have a talent for like communication, man. Really? And I watch, I was watching your vlogs while you were taking a shower today. Mm -hmm. And uh I always says in my clinics, I don't film everything because, in my opinion, either you leave or leave 
or either you film because yes. you can't do both and you do both man and I yes. m and there's a quick story like we were hanging out with Gus G at the show like last Sunday yeah the whiskey yes and uh, then we you know talking Gus was really nice to us and uh, then uh, Charlie out of nowhere in the right moment you, you, you pick up your GoPro and they're like Hey guys, we're here opening for Gus G, man. Yeah. <laughs> and then when Gus was leaving, Charlie, Gus said something like, "Hey, I'm gonna warm up right now, so see you guys soon." And then he he was going upstairs, and they were like, "Hey, Gus," you said, "You're a fucking nice dude." Because <laughs> because man, it was so genuine that he, yeah. that he left his ass off. He left his ass off. That was a great moment. Man, that was amazing. Actually, you left your ass off too. Man, because it was, was really awesome. awesome. <laughs> it's just fucking awesome. You know what I mean? And that was because actually he was really nice. Yes. He, you know he he was not supposed to be there talking to us. Yes, he was supposed yes. to be at backstage warming up. Yes. yes. And he took time to you know yes. to be. He was really motivating it. Yeah. Like, oh man, yeah, for sure. And also one thing that it's interesting to, for me, this video, um, the intention of it, mm -hmm. like everything I do, I want to inspire people. Uh, and I want to bring a message, some kind of message for people that want to have a career, at least play guitar, get better and yeah. what you love, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we are both from uh, South America. Yes. And Gus, for example, is from Greece. He's from Greece. And he ended up, Playing in Aussie, man. Yes, you know what I mean. So I told him that, like, dude, you're a big inspiration because you won the game. You know what I mean, you 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 ended up playing for Aussie, man, one of the most iconic guys in rock. Yeah. Ever. And actually, that it's not only that it's because Aussie has always had amazing players. Yes. And all his players have become legends. Yes. You know, and that's the thing. Gus G is now, you know, in that list. Yes. Like yes, for Aussie, he like for he recorded Aussie. an album. Yeah. You know, it's like <laughs> yeah. it's a totally different. He's level. going down in the story of rock. Yes, definitely yeah. he is, and not only that, but. It, um, it's an inspiring story because he was very young when that happened. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and it's like when you see that kind of things happening, it's yeah. like, dude, things can happen. Yeah, you know? yeah. But, but it, that's it a, won't be easy. It won't be I'm easy. I'm sure it wasn't but, for him. But there's one thing that I've noticed that for my generation, right? Mm -hmm. Right now I'm 35 years old. Yes. I'm, I'm 34, but uh -huh. I'm turning 35 like in a month and something. Okay. Right? But I believe that there are a lot of guitar players that are between 30 and 35 years uh -huh. old that spend all their energy all their practice hours, their practice yes. time, their learning uh, process to, you know, to judge others, mm -hmm. you know, to, right. to, you know, to judge others and, you know, criticize everybody instead yes. of working their yes. things, yes. right? And I think that limited a lot of people, very talented people that could play, right, right, right. you know, and it's like, it's it's sad, it's really yeah. pathetic. Right. And I think that Gus G would prove to all these people was that, dude, things can happen, but you gotta, you know, work your ass Work hard, yeah, you gotta yeah. work hard. There's something that I always say in my clinics, uh, man, if you wanna be where just a few people are, you yes. gotta do what just a, only a few people are willing to do. Yes. That's a lot like of sacrifices, man. Dude, you, you're gonna eat shit for 20 years, 10 years okay. until you get somewhere. Well, yes, that's true. I mean, uh, touring is hard, mm -hmm. you know, touring is hard. You know, uh, I, I believe that your, your story is really inspiring, man. I mean, you're in LA like for three years, mm -hmm. right? And you're pretty much away from home, man. Right, that's, right, right. You know, that, that's a sacrifice you're doing right now. Yeah, and You're yeah. doing it because you love music and it's your passion. Yes. Yes, yes. You're, you're, I think that you're right now where you belong, right? Uh -huh. You're doing your things, and the only thing that I would do, like, you know, don't stop. Yes, yeah, you, you're, you're, you're doing always doing right. I gotta say that uh, at that performance we had uh -huh. at the Wizard, uh -huh. I was, every time I see your posts and a lot of those posts on Instagram, <laughs> uh, I love that, you know, it's the, the shows and everything. Uh -huh. but. This show from Sunday, I was really inspired. I was so I was so proud of you, man, because yeah. you you really connected with the people Thank and so and the adrenaline of, of playing our our song like for the first time yes. in person because we did this song online. Yes, was the most adrenalinic thing. We were playing at the Whiskey Gogo for the first time, no sound check, no no rehearsals, nothing, no nothing, and dude, we nailed it. We actually we nailed, nailed it. it. We nailed it, man. Man, it, it was, was amazing. A, a memorable moment for sure. And thanks for saying that, man. And yeah, uh, dude, to finish the interview, 
like send a quick message to every kid that is born like in a place that is not the center of the attention. It's not LA, it's not New York, it's not mm -hmm. uh, maybe even not Sao Paulo, let's say. Let's yes. say, you know, yeah. you're, not a big city. Except I mean, not a big no. city and you want to have a career and you want to do like what you do and and like tell me what would be that message. Man? I think that message is that we're living right now in a time where everything you can find everything on the internet. Right? Yeah. So you gotta, you can study things from the internet, yes. and you can also be a part of it. Yes. Like showing your work, showing what you do. Yeah. Like do not regret anything. Do not be afraid of somebody criticize you right. or or thumbing down your videos or saying shit about your work. Uh, that's the thing that it's gonna, you know, make you reach people. Right. 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 You, right, you right. gotta reach the people, reach your audience. You know, yeah. there's a lot of people that are gonna like your stuff. Right. And there's a lot of people that are gonna hate it. Yes. And yes. that's, but that's how things. Yes. Work, you know. If yes. you if you uh, do not do nothing about it, it's not going to happen. It's like not, there's not going to come like you know a uh, something some, that will something change. that will change your life. No, yeah. you got to work for it, work hard, and you know search for your things and move because um, life won't wait. Yes, for yes, sure. yes. The Aussie, Aussie, Aussie song, song. <laughs> with with <laughs> guitar Gus work G. by Gus G. Yeah. 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 I love that song. Yeah, me too, man. It's a good ballad. And, and it, you know what? I I, I always say that. Uh, a music career, mm -hmm. it's like day by day, man. Like yeah. it's something. It's like building a house, yeah. step by step. You know it's, what I mean? It's like a, I'm. I'm so grateful that I was able to stay in your place, man, and oh, been able to go to Central Rose and everything, dude. I truly appreciate it. I want to do this, like you know, in the video yeah, yeah, because yeah. Uh, that helps a lot, man. Yeah, I, yeah. I truly appreciate it, and man, the the good energy you guys have is amazing, <laughs> man. Like, oh, likewise, man. Yeah, Brazil's got you know a lot of you know musical you know prodigies, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you're a part of that generation. <laughs> man. You are, and you all guys are, man. You're fucking amazing. Man. And <laughs> oh, from man. from from the bottom of my honest heart, you you fucking rock, man. That's it for sure. People are gonna say the the this is too emotional, right? <laughs> it is, and it it's is, supposed it is, to it be is, it not is. planned. But uh, certain things don't have price, they have value. Yes, that's for sure. Yes. I think that's a great place to end the video. Guys, mm -hmm. thank you so much for watching. <laughs> uh, subscribe to his channel. Uh, probably you already are. <laughs> uh, e galera do Brasil, obrigado aí por ter visto a entrevista. E agradeço muito aí o like, o comentário de vocês muito importante. So if you can, uh, please comment the video and leave like a like. As I said, subscribe to the channel. Charlie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, gracias a todos por ver el video. Muy obrigado. And well, we um, dude, it's been an amazing chat. Man. Yeah. I thought like, it was. It's been really fun. Yeah. Amazing. Man. Thank you. Man, I, I, I knew he was doing, he was going to do something because he was there.